Hello, this is Invector and welcome to my new Star to Fire 4 video. In today's video, we are going to be playing as Non-Aligned Finland and we are going to do two achievements, Uralic Brothers United, which is as Finland have Hungary, Estonia, Sapme, Karelia, Mariel, Udmurtia, Komi, Ostiak, Vugulia, Yamalia and Nenetsia as subjects, and no one crosses the finish line, as non-aligned Finland survived the Soviet Union until September 19th, 1944 without losing control of a single core ever. So this requires us to play until September 19th, 1944 and we are going to be playing as non-aligned and uh, I'm not going to the uh, secret path that uh, forms the uh, Finnish kingdom but uh, we'll do non-aligned Finland nonetheless. I've tried to do the uh, other achievement that uh, makes you form the uh, Greater Finland, but re that requires us to conquer a piece of land from Sweden and Norway and it's uh, impossible to do both of them. Uh, we can get Sweden, but uh, we can't get uh, Norway without taking the allies out and I didn't want to make the uh, video too complicated because it's kind of difficult to do. Uh, I've managed it somehow, but uh, I couldn't uh, remake it for you guys to uh, copy and do in your save so that's gonna be done in my next video so what we're doing is actually um, just doing the uh, industrial focuses first because with politics we are not going to reach anywhere because we are already non-aligned I'm just doing uh, anti fashion and anti them uh, rates to get stability and lower their influence on our um, government and later on, I'm going to ban them all, uh, so we are 100% non-aligned. Because there's an advisor that gives fash support, but also gives weekly manpower, and we need him. Because we are gonna need a lot of manpower. So, my plan is uh, make a lot of forts on the border with Soviet Union. And basically defend them, and we need a lot of... Um, divisions to do that so what I'm gonna do is that we are gonna have like 30 to 40 divisions with like uh, 10 width and I'm gonna put a lot of support in them because we have the actually uh, industrial capabilities to uh, make a lot of equipment for them so maybe going full air is another option but uh, I opted not to do that so what I'm gonna do is to uh, stack defense stack soft attack HP, organization, and most importantly, entrenchment. So that we are entrenched, we are defended, and I'm gonna build a lot of uh, forts to hold the line. Because if we lose just one um, province, then this, uh, the achievement is um, void. You can't do the achievement anymore. So we need to hold the line. Just losing just one or two tiles that are not Victory points is fine, but if you lose a big victory point, like, like the one at the north uh, north of Petsamo, where the port is, or the capital, for, ex for example, then uh, then that means you lost the tile and uh, the achievement is void. So what I'm going to do is to switch my uh, head of the government twice, so we have uh, righty. Uh, he's a pretty good leader, and he doesn't have problems, let's just say. But when the war starts, uh, you can just switch to the uh, war government, because that guy gives a recruit recruitable population for more, more manpower. We need static warfare and tenacious defense because we need all the entrenchment and defense that we can get. If you've done the achievement with uh, Ethiopia, it's actually pretty similar to that, because what you need to do is, well, there's also another uh, achievement with Soviet Union to hold the line against the Germans, which is pretty much the same. Like, you're building forts, you're holding the line, you're cycling in and out divisions, and uh, you can see my division template right here. Recon, anti-air, artillery, engineer supports, and just um, infantry for defense. 
But later on, I'm gonna add um, uh, artillery and also light tanks after some point. Supply is another problem that we have because even though we have uh, very few divisions or like small divisions, uh, supply is a problem. So we need to build supply hubs and uh, railroads to supply our uh, men properly. So I'm just uh, upgrading my forts here to level 4, maybe if level 5 if you can afford them. And also upgrade all of my railways to, so that my divisions are uh, properly fed. Germany attacks Poland. Soviets demand Karela and we have to refuse because giving that up just voids the achievement uh, completely. The winter war and the clear war. So what we need to do is to just cycle in and out divisions when we are losing the uh, combat. So that happens in the north, like uh, the the northern part and the eastern part. As you can see, there is a red bubble at the top, and sometimes there is a red bubble in the middle and the the southeast. But the border at Leningrad is usually properly defended, so you don't have to worry about that too much. So you just cycle in and out divisions and uh, hold the line. You can do last stand whenever you want, if, if you're in a desperate situation. So yeah, as you can see, we are holding, but barely. Like one mistake and they can just rush in. And one, one thing to note here is that they are trying to push uh, on the land. And after a while, they, are, they will try to push through the sea, so you need to actually uh, position some troops near Helsinki and the other uh, ports in Finland and also uh, the little island we have in the Baltic Sea because they naval invade that also and that's a different uh, province and you need to defend that because if you lose that uh, then the achievement is void. By the way, if you lose a tile, as you see, if you can take it back, that's fine, but if you can't, just don't worry about it. Fall back a little and then build force there. That, that that's that's a little problematic. Uh, yeah, I, I take it. That's a little problematic. Okay, but uh, you need to cut your losses whenever you can. Like I can't take this province back, so I'm just gonna stop and build uh, new forts wherever I fell back on. As long as you don't lose the uh, province completely, then it's fine. Simo Aheha is a great man, of course. And I'm also making new divisions because uh, with the war, we can actually up our um, uh, recruitment levels so that we get more manpower. And we always need more divisions. Like, we need at least 20 or 30 more divisions to hold the line and also uh, protect our ports. By the way, if if you're not sure if you lost a province or not, just take to, uh, take a look at the achievement, and it will tell you that uh, if if you've lost any.
So it's 1940, they are really pushing. But uh, we seem to be holding for now. More divisions. We lost a tile and we regained it. That's fine. That most northern tile is actually a uh, flatland and they constantly attack it to capture it and if you lose it then you lose the achievement so be wary of that the tile with the port but it looks like we are holding I'm gonna wait until I have enough PP to uh, get women in the workforce for um, uh, total mobilization because manpower is a problem and as you can see they are bombing us so we need to repair our um, fortifications and around this point uh, we need to actually uh, guard the ports you know because they will start uh, navally invading us. The north is fine. They, they will not na navally invade from the north. But the south and uh, west part is actually a, a problem. Yeah, we are asking for help from Sweden. And of course, I will... Uh, gone to um, uh, grand battle plan because that gives the most uh, um, uh, entrenchment. Now I'm gonna ask for equipment from uh, other countries like United Kingdom, United States, and we have zero convoys, so I'm gonna ask for convoys as well. And as you see, we just lost a tile on the Leningrad side, but that's fine, we still have the victory point. And I'm gonna replace the artillery guy with the infantry guy. Maybe you should have done this sooner, but uh, yeah, it just skipped my mind. Yeah, the attack and the defense, especially the defense is really good, because most we have is infantry. As you can see, I just keep checking the achievement if I've lost it or not. Because if you've lost and regained the control of the state, that, that's a loss and you have to start over. But, as you can see, we are holding, and uh, it looks like the front line is actually stabilized now. I'm just gonna guard the ports now, because... Uh, they might navally invade us, and they will, eventually. So we need to be prepared for that. And I'm gonna just um, hold some troops on the uh, port here. And also on the island that we have. And as you can see, I'm preparing for the actually invasion of uh, Soviet Union. 
Now we go to total mobilization and also women in the workforce. The lone wolf is complete. Service by requirements. Let's guard our islands also. Just holding the ports is fine. Because if they enable invade us where there aren't any ports, you can just defeat them. And we are not actually garrisoning any uh, troops on the island because we have no um, convoys right now. But eventually we will. I'm just gonna buy some. And we can also ask for convoys from uh, UK and the USA. Germany, unfortunately, uh, is allied to Soviet Union at this point, but uh, so, so you, you can't actually ask for equipment from them. But uh, in 1941, they will also uh, start invading Soviet Union, so you can just uh, push together. But uh, I opted not to join Axis, just so that I could actually do the achievement that uh, makes you, you know, form the Greater Finland without joining a faction, but uh, I couldn't repeat the achievement. So that uh, I'm gonna do another uh, video about that with uh, another kind of Finland, not non-aligned. Because it's actually really difficult to form that with non-aligned Finland. Because, as, by the way, as you can see, Soviet Union is uh, navally invading us, but we are just defeating and um, actually crushing their uh, divisions uh, when they navally invade, because they can't actually take any ports. So. But yeah, in, in the future, I'm gonna do another Finland run with uh, probably uh, like Finland that can actually get Sweden and uh, Norway without any interference so that we can get uh, Greater Finland with ease. Because uh, it's a big pain because like Sweden remains natural but they're democratic. So if you attack them, they can actually join allies. And Norway is democratic at start and they can join allies. And if Axis conquers them, and if you defeat Axis, they just go back to democratic um, Norway. And if you defeat allies, they remain at the hands of um, the Germans. So you can't take uh, Norway that way. You need to defeat allies and Axis if you want Norway that way. So the trick is to get Norway before Germany declares war. So now we have a lot of divisions and they are uh, properly equipped and we are still destroying divisions on our shores whenever they enable the inmate, which is great. And at this point it's like 10 to 1 the, the loss ratio, the manpower loss ratio with Soviet Union. They are just throwing men and we keep killing them. Just make sure that they can't actually take victory points and ports. And it will just be fine. They can navally invade all they want. I can probably push at this point, but uh, I don't want to disturb them when they're uh, making a mistake, you know? Santuzu. If they want to keep attacking and lose men, then I'm just happy to let them attack. So after this war is over, we are going to have all the land that we need to for our subjects for the achievement Uralic Brothers United, except Hungary. So, for Hungary, we actually need to defeat Axis. And as it turns out, I made a mistake in the peace deal after Soviet Union was defeated. And I didn't get the land that requires us to uh, release uh, Udmurtia. So, be wary of that. But after I defeated Axis, I just took Udmurtia and popped it Hungary and everything was fine.
after you take Leningrad, uh, the game actually prompts you to make peace with Soviet Union. But as we said, uh, if you want, if you just want, no one crosses the finish line, which requires you to survive until 1944, then you can take the peace deal. As you just saw us taking Leningrad. But if you want the the other subjects. Uh, in the other achievement, you need to keep the war going and actually capitulate Soviet Union. And right now we have the power and the capabilities to capitulate Soviet Union, but uh, Germany will actually declare war on them and we have to share the land, which is uh, not a mistake per se on my part, but uh, it is what it is, you know. Finish peace demands. Yeah, you can just demand peace and we're not gonna do it. we rather stay at war and just uh, start gathering their lands. And Germany declares war. Now we can push properly because they have a huge army to deal with now. I'm getting all the military access that I need from Axis so I can backstab them. Well, it's not really backstab because I have never joined Axis, so you know. But still, we are gonna order 66 them. Yeah, they have lost so many troops and equipment to us. That Germans are just gobbling them up, you know? And in just one year, they are done. There we go. Now, as I said, uh, you need the northern parts. Actually, let me just show you with the map. This is what you need, and that is Admurtia that I forgot to take. So make sure to take those lands. You can actually release them right now in the peace deal uh, as puppets. So maybe you can do that. But know that if you plan to uh, get uh, Greater Finland and also the Uralic Brothers United uh, achievement, uh, there's well you have to do one of them first. Either you have to do Uralic Brothers United and then annex them back because. You need those lands to form the Greater Finland, so... I'm just now releasing the nations that I need as puppets. Nevetsia... And my declaration of war is ready for Montenegro. And we are order 66 in uh, the Axis. By the way, I don't need to put divisions in Italy because they are a puppet now. Because of allies. And we just need to take care of uh, Bulgaria and Germany. And that's done. As you can see, I can't take Norway, but I can pop it uh, Hungary and also grab Udmurtia, which I forgot last time. So I'm gonna pop it. Yeah, US is being a dick, but uh, that's fine. There we go. Peace deal is done. We release Udmurtia and we have our achievement, which is great. And we also survived until 1944, so that's two achievements. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.